Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a deep dive into the Horizons Kindergarten Math Program. This is a really popular homeschool curriculum, but I will tell you that before we started homeschooling and we were touring private schools, a lot of the private schools used Horizons curriculum. So when I show you the teacher's guide on this, a lot of times you'll see that it kind of has things worded as though you're a teacher teaching to a class, like tell the students this, like plural. That's because this is a curriculum that is also used in the private school sector. Okay, so let's get into it. With the Horizons Kindergarten Math, this is literally all you get. You get the one box and inside that box is going to be your teacher's guide and then two student workbooks, kind of like a part one and a part two for the whole kindergarten year. And if you're thinking like, what? That's all that comes with this curriculum? Because that's kind of what I thought too. Yes, that is all that comes with this math curriculum. And I will tell you also that there are some math curriculums out there. Like I think one, if I'm thinking right start math is one where you get your math books, but then you also get a giant box of manipulatives and resources. There's like the little app a kiss in there. And that might look really appealing at first. Like, wow, that's got everything I need. And you just feel like you're more well equipped with something like that. To me, that's a little overwhelming. I don't know if I would want to have all those supplies. We kind of felt like this with math UC as well. When you had the little blocks that went with it, it was just a lot to have all at once out on the table. I like things short and sweet. So with the Horizons math program, you're not going to be getting any manipulatives with this program. However, at the beginning of the teacher's guide, which I'll show you in the lessons, they do give you a material list. And a lot of these materials are going to be like basic household items. So it'll tell you to go grab some counters, for example. That could be, you know, rocks from your backyard. That could be a pack of M&Ms. Maybe you have some granola in the cabinet, little pieces of granola. Like it could literally be anything. You just grab it from your kitchen or wherever. The other thing that I want to point out about this program before I actually show you a full lesson is that the lessons are super, super short. I'm talking two pages front and back, like one, one page front and back, two pages total. And when you see that at first, you're like, ooh, like, how can that possibly be enough? We felt that way with the good and the beautiful. Well, I'm gonna show you the way that they've organized it. They're gonna constantly go back and review, review, review. So even though each individual lesson is super, super short, by the end of the program, they reviewed the concept so much that it really does make a complete full kindergarten program. All right, so let's look on the inside. Okay, so as I was saying, you get your two student workbooks and then your teacher's guide, just one big one for the year. And inside the teacher's guide, it will give you like a description of the program, what to expect with it. Here's the scope and sequence. So this is everything your child's going to be learning throughout the year. They've broken it down into 23 sections and then they break it down even further by showing you how often they're going to be repeating those concepts. Remember I told you this is a spiral based curriculum. It's going to constantly go back and review old concepts. So for example, counting by fives, they're going to introduce that in lesson 55, but then they're going to practice it again in 62, 66, 69. They're constantly going back and reviewing the same concepts over and over again. And then we get into the daily lesson planner. So this this is every lesson. Here's lesson 14, for example, breaking down what you're going to be learning that day. This is kind of just like a nice thing. You could tab it and flip it open on that day just to kind of get an overview of what you're going to be teaching. Again, this is more beneficial for like classroom teachers that need to create lesson plans, that kind of thing. For us homeschooling moms, it might just be nice to, you know, look at an overview real quick. Then we get into my favorite part. Horizons has the entire program broken down into exactly how they organize the lesson. So you can see that they're gonna be introduced to a new concept and that's gonna last for two to five days. Then they're gonna get primary practice. Then they're gonna get secondary practice. Then they're gonna take a little break. Let's see if you've really retained it. Then we're getting into primary review and then secondary review. And they do the same pattern for every single concept that they're gonna learn throughout the year. So you can see time to the half hour, for example, it's gonna be introduced in lesson 22, it looks like. Practiced again, practice, practice, review, review, review. So you get the point. And this is why the lessons are able to be so short because they've organized it to where, yeah, individual lessons are short, but then you're gonna go back and review. So here's an example of what a lesson looks like in the actual teacher's guide. This is just lesson number one. So in the student workbook, your child would be opened up to their page. So we'll go to lesson one in here. Horizons is also very colorful, very engaging. You know, it's not like the black and white with Christian light education. Even though we love Christian light education, it's not as engaging. So with Horizons in your student workbook, for this lesson, they're just counting the little people. They're getting that counting practice. But then your teacher's guide is gonna have extra activities for you to do either like on a whiteboard or grabbing those counters from outside or your kitchen or whatever. There are extra activities aside from just what you see in the student workbook. And then the other side of this lesson, again, it's only going to be two pages, one front and one back, a couple more activities, counting top of the ladder, bottom of the cup, more counting. And then they do get some handwriting practice with the numbers. Then in your
your teacher's guide, you also have extra worksheets in the back. So if you want your kid to get a little more independent practice, or maybe you just need like a break and you need your kid to work a little longer, you can go into the back of your teacher's guide. There are extra worksheets. These are meant to be used multiple times throughout the year. So don't actually use these worksheets, make copies of them. These are like reproducibles where you can just make copies and use them throughout the year to get that extra review. Here's more handwriting practice. So you can be flexible with this. Like you either use the extra worksheets or you don't, you don't have to. Now I will show you too the progression throughout the grade levels. This is like on the back of the box that everything came in. So you can see here the kindergarten, what I just showed you, everything they're gonna be learning throughout the year. And then it shows you grade one, grade two. You can see how they're adding onto the learning each year. And eventually it goes all the way up to algebra one here. So Horizons Math is a program that you can continue to use all the way up through algebra one. However, keep in mind, Horizons, phonics, and reading only goes up to third grade. So one thing that's really frustrating is if you fall in love with Horizons and you're like, this is it, this is our curriculum, well, it can only be your curriculum for math forever because the phonics and reading stops at third grade and then you have to find something else, unfortunately. Now, eventually as the lessons progress, you can see there is more independent work for the kids. Like here, they're adding a double digit with a single digit and there's multiple practice problems. So me showing you lesson one is kind of a disservice to this program because it was so, so basic. But it does eventually pick up speed to where once you get into book number two, like I'll show you a lesson at the end end of book number two. So look, they end up doing a lot of independent practice here. You can see that. I will tell you one thing that really bothers me about this program, and this might just be because I am a former elementary school teacher, but there's no assessment factor here. Like it's not like they do a certain amount of lessons and then they have a little test or quiz. Like they just keep going into the next lesson. Now I get at a kindergarten level, Christian light education is the same way where there's not like an end of year test or an end of unit test. And for me, I feel like I need that. However, if you are following the program the way that it is you know, designed, you probably don't need to go back and do those assessments because you'll be able to tell through the daily lessons, like, is my kid getting this or do they need to go back and do those extra worksheets in the back of the teacher's guide? For me, I personally would like kind of like a little assessment. Now I will tell you that in the level one program, I have the Horizons level one back there. They do have little tests throughout and same thing with Christian Light Education. Eventually they add in the assessments and the reviews. I don't know if they're just being super gentle because it's kindergarten, but if you are the type of mom that wants that assessment, even with the good and the beautiful, as much as we didn't like the good and the beautiful, they did provide like unit tests at the kindergarten level. So I appreciated that. This program does not have that. Now AOP is like the overarching company that owns Horizons, Lifepack, and Monarch. I do have a 10% off coupon with AOP for any of those three curriculums, Horizons, Lifepack, Monarch. It's just 10, I'll put it on the screen. That'll give you 10% off any of AOP curriculum, which is pretty pretty affordable already. Like this Horizons math was pretty cheap compared to other ones, but it doesn't come with a bunch of resources and manipulatives. So that's probably how they're able to offset the cost. So you can use that code if you want that 10% off discount. We are not officially using the Horizons curriculum yet. We are finishing with our Christian Light Education kindergarten, which we're almost done. And then I know you're thinking like, well, why are you going with another kindergarten program? It's a whole long story. My kid's just really not mature enough to get into the first grade yet, which I will do a whole nother video on that. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comments comments and I will see you next time for another deep dive of one of the thousands of other curriculums that I have in here.